Test one, two, test one, two. Yes, sir, I can hear you. Test, test. Test one, two, test one, two. Test, test one, test one. Mic test. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Cherryville, Kansas, where this evening your Erie Red Devils will be facing the Cherryville Chargers. I'd like to welcome in Wade Dillinger with me here this evening as we're getting ready to hear the starting lineups for this evening. Good evening, Wade. Happy New Year, Ryan. Well, Happy New Year to you. Sorry to be on uh, just right before game time. We're about 30 seconds. But uh, had a little technical difficulty to start, so hopefully, you know, uh, everybody can hear us loud and clear. That's what happens when you take a couple of weeks off. It takes a little bit to relearn the system. That's right. Hey, we're getting ready for the national anthem, so we'll step aside for the national anthem. Shout out to the band here at Cherryville as they did an excellent job on the national anthem here this evening. Starting for the Erie Red Devils tonight is number five, a sophomore, Kaylee Daniels. Number one, a senior, Bethany Umbarger for the Lady Chargers. For your Lady Devils, a senior, number 10, Alex Pascarelli. And for the Lady Chargers, a number 11, a freshman, Harmony John. And for your Lady Devils, number 12, a senior, Kenzie Cleaver. And for the Lady Chargers, a senior, number 12, Charlie Fox. Carly Fox. Carly. No H in there. You got it. And for the Lady Devils, a junior, number 22, Riley Paulser. 
And for the Lady Chargers, a junior, number 23, Cadence Foreman. And for the Lady Devils, we have a junior, number 35, Jackson Powell. And for the Lady Chargers, a junior, number 24, Lillian Whitley. Well, Wade, nice to be here. First ball game back from the break. Let's hope the Lady Devils and the Gentlemen Devils are ready to play some ball tonight. Yeah, most definitely. Hopefully they can use the um, little momentum they had there to end the, end the first break, I guess you want to call it, and uh, carry that on in here to the start of the second half here. You bet. I think we're going to have to take care of the ball because I'm going to guess this Cherryville team is going to come out. Coach Overrecker, she usually gets them out here and gets some full court press, and uh, I'm sure we're going to put some pressure on us in the back court here and see if we can handle it this evening. I'm guessing you're probably right. Jumping tonight will be senior Alex Pascarelli. She'll be facing, I believe that's number one, Umbarger for the Lady Chargers. Nice big blue numbers this evening on the Materialville uniforms. Lady Devils will control the tip. Cleaver's going to drive in, back it back out to Palzer. Lady Devils setting up the offense here. Lady Chargers come out in what appears to be a man-to-man -man defense here to start this evening, Wade. Yeah, they'll try to put a lot, looks like a lot of pressure on the uh, on the first pass away there. Good help side defense to start here for the Chargers. Balls are better get rid of it as a five count was being put on her. Good defense there by number 11, Harmony John for the Chargers. Cleaver tries to get into Daniels, knocked away there by Cherryville, but in possession will retain here by the Lady Devils. Cleaver to trigger it in. She'll get it to Pascarelli on the right wing. Back to Paulser, top of key. Powell tries to drive in, gets it knocked away. They're going to push it ahead there. Layup is up and good by number 23, Foreman. She's fouled and gets to go to the line to shoot a free throw. That'll be the first foul on Daniels, first team foul. Good job of Powell blocking out for the rebound. Daniels bring it up, gets it over to Polzer. Reach in, lose control of it. All kinds of girls on the floor. We're gonna have a quick timeout here by Coach Daniels to retain possession. 7.01 left here in the first, two to nothing, Lady Charger. Well, just as I suspected there, Ryan, it's going to have to be good cuts to the basket. And you're going to have to move to the basketball on the passes because they are they are denying the first pass away like crazy tonight. It's going to be a lot of tip balls and a lot of turnovers if we don't uh, do a little better job of protecting the basketball. Lady Devil's going to have to recognize that, use some back cuts, you know, to the basket there because like you say, they're they're playing real aggressive defense here to start, start out yeah, the game. Yeah, they're over, over playing heavy. Cleaver to inbound the ball on the side. And a Burton whistle there. Paul's are going to kick it over to Cleaver. Powell, a little shots up and good. We're going to have to have those type of shots their way to kind of loosen things up inside. Right, we're going we're gonna to have to be able to catch the ball and be ready to shoot it. Pascarelli and Powell both, they're going to have to get a little more physical inside there and post up a little stronger and see if we can draw some fouls. Three-pointer by Johns, no good. Saved inbounds there by Cherryville, but Cleaver's going to come away with it for the Lady Devils. Cleaver's going to try to push it ahead, get it over Daniels' left wing down to the baseline. Powell looking cross-court over to Cleaver. She'll drive in the middle of the lane, get it to Pascarelli. A little eight-footer is good. First lead here for the Lady Devils, 6'10", left in the first, 4-2. A nice patience there. They had, they've skipped past over the top of the help side defender there and got, got us an easy look. 
Thought about a three-pointer, but she'll drive in. Going to have a foul call Ooh. on the floor here. On, looks to appear on the Lady Devils. Looks like that foul will be on Powell. It will be her first personal, second team. Thought, thought Powell might have been there, Wade. I did. I thought might have, I thought she might have took an extra step before the contact. Number 13, Tatum Marchant for the Lady Chargers will check in. They'll get it inbounds here to Fox. Back out to Foreman. She'll kick it out to, I believe that was number 11, John. Her shot no good. Finally pulled out of there by Powell. Oh, a little step there by Powell. Be a turnover on the Lady Devils. The long hair kind of gets down in them numbers. Kind of <laughs> hard to tell who has what. It is kind of hard. Foreman will control the point here for the Lady Chargers. Nice drive by John. She gets hammered there by Powell. Powell. <laughs> Second personal on Powell. Third team foul. John gets the first. Maddie Hodgen, a junior, will check in. Number 11 for the Lady Devils here with 5.30 left in the first period. John gets a pair. Lady Chargers looking to put some full court pressure here on the Lady Devils. Cleaver taking care of it so far. Goes down the sideline. Gets it over to Pascarelli. She'll drive in. Nice move off the board. Score. 517 left in the first. Lady Devils six. Lady Chargers four. Nice move there by Alex. Was a good move. Little two game here between Foreman and John. She thought about a three, but she'll get it back to Foreman. She'll shoot a three and drill it. Five minutes left here in the first. Seven to six. Lady Chargers go back on top. Pauls are going to bring it up for the Lady Devils here. Reach in foul there by Foreman. Be the first personal there on Foreman and first team on the Lady Chargers. Whole herd of Chargers checking in. Number four, Gent Gentry Gas. Number five, Shelly Rada. And I don't know who the other one was. I think his number. No, nope, 12 is already in there. I didn't see either. Might be number three. Jay Lee Reister. Yep, Reister, I think. Reister. Yep. Powell's are with the shot. She gets fouled there by gra by gas. Be first person on gas. Second team. Powell's will go to the line to shoot two. A little strong on the first. Gets the second one. You said it's Reister or Reister? Reister. Reister. Devils played in that patent in 1-3-1 defense that they like to play. Foreman's three-pointer is drilled. Puts the Chargers up by three, 10 to seven, with 4-10 left in the first quarter. Looks like Foreman's not afraid to fire that way. Nope, she looks like Lumber got to get a hand out in her face. Still and pass over there to Reister. Reister, what'd you say? Reister. Reister. I'm gonna screw that up all night. You got it. Cleaver found there by Rada. Not a smart foul there by Chargers. That'll be the first on Shelby, on Rada. Third team foul. Umbarger check back in for the Lady Chargers. Carly Fox will have a seat in her first rest this evening. Nice 
nice steal there by Umberger. She'll go coast to coast, left hand layup, and good. The Lady Chargers push her lead out to seven, 14 to seven, 3.30 left here in the first. Lady Devils need to settle down here, Wade, and get a good offensive possession. Yeah, we haven't had a shot here in the last few minutes. Pascarelli is going to drive in, look to get it to Pascarelli on a low block. She'll turn, get pushed, no call. She'll score. 308 left in the first, 14 to 9. Lady Chargers. Woo. Foreman for three from the corner, no good. No one there for the Lady Devils. Nice rebound there by Rada. Rada's going to fire a three, a little long. Cleaver with the rebound. Lady Devils bring it up, down by five. It's going to be a reach-in foul on the Chargers. Reister? Yeah. It'll be the first person on Reister. Harmony John check back in for the Lady Chargers. Cherryville seems to have a pretty good rotation weight here early on. Yeah, they uh, looks, like they, looks like they're going to rotate three, if not four, consistently. Pascarelli going inside. Nice little dump down to Cleaver. Up and in. 2.30 left in the first. Lady Devils cut the lead to three, 14 to 11. John top of the key drives, kicks it over to Rada. Umbarger's going to back it out for the Lady Chargers. They go inside to Umbarger. Hodgson all over Umbarger. He first personal on Hodgson. Holy cow, they gave that on Kaylee Daniels. Oh. Should have been on 11. Yeah. Wow, that's 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 Daniels second. That foul will be on Cleaver there, I believe, Way, but that last yeah. foul they got they somehow got somehow got Daniels. Daniels. It should have been Hodgson. Hmm. Huh. Okay, we'll change that from Hodgkin to Daniels, I guess. Daniels was the only one in the or Hodgkin was the only one in the area. And there's no doubt that Hodgkin won a hammered her in the back. Well, yeah. that John at the line. Yes. Okay. First shot is no good there by John. She gets the second. Cleaver somehow gets it to Paulser there. Paulser going to bring it up. 155 left here in the first quarter. Lady Devils travel by trail by four. Good kick out to Pascarelli. She'll fake the three. Drive in. Little eight foot shot. A little short. Rebounded there by Gas. Gas going to push it up for the Lady Chargers. I think that's three. That's on that's on Hodgkin should be. Oh. Maddie Hodgkin with her first personal this time. That puts the Red Devils in the bonus or Lady Devils in the bonus here. I believe that's Reister. Yeah. Like you said, that long hair. Reister gets the first. Hmm. There's two Raiders. Macy Rada yes. just checked in number uh, two for Cherryville. Reister with a good with good on a pair. Lady Chargers push the lead back to six here, minute and a half in the first. Pulls her bring it across to half court, get it over to Pascarelli. She'll drive in. Foul well, was on the floor, but that will be the bonus now for the Lady Devils. That was on Umbarker, first personal, fifth team. Two shots there for Pascarelli. Hmm. 
Mascarelli could not get the bounce there. Alex gets one out of two. Reister gets it to Umbarger. Umbarger's going to try to drive in. Knocked away there by Hogsden. Paulser gets it. Gets it over to Umbarger. Paulser gets it back. Brings it across the half court here. Looking to cut into this five-point lead here by the Lady Chargers. She'll get it to Daniels. Oh. She'll get called for the double dribble there. So we we'll have a turnover here for the Lady Devils. It was a nice look. She just couldn't gather it in time to go up and under there, Wade. Yeah, it was nice, nice cut and nice look. I think she started to it and she kind of retouched it. Three-point attempt by the Chargers is good. Number four, Gas. One thing about it, Lady Chargers are not afraid to shoot it from the outside. Looks to me like if they're on the floor, they got the green light. Knocked out of bounds off of Umbarger. Possession will re be retained here by the Lady Devils. Cleaver, a little trouble getting it in. Finally gets it to Pulser. She'll get it over Cleaver. Cleaver drives in, lays it up, lays it up short. No good. Rebound by Umbarger. 15 seconds left in the quarter. Umbarger pushes it up for the Lady Chargers. Gets it over to Reister. Inside to Umbarger. Her turnaround. Shots up. No good. Rebound by Pascarelli. Pulser will not fire. And that's the end of the first quarter where the Lady Chargers of Cherryville 20, your Lady Devils 12. Well, Wade, we come out and put up 12 up in the first quarter. The only problem is Cherryville come out and put up 20. Yeah, exactly. We uh, and, and I guess like we talked about a couple of times there, they're, we knew they were going to come out and put a lot of pressure on the guards, try to force some bounce passes, slow bounce passes, and see if they can get some tips and steals. And they have. We've done a fairly decent job, though, of keeping the turnovers down, I thought, for the first quarter. But as we get tireder, and they wait if they keep rotating three, four girls at a time, we're going to get tired and we're really going to have to take care of it then. Yeah, Cherryville's got a nice little rotation. They're able to get in several girls. I mean, they rotated in very quickly to start the game and just continue to stay fresh and, and rotate in. And we do not have that luxury, Wade. Uh, we no. just we, we can't afford to get in foul trouble because we just uh, don't appear to be as deep this year as what we'd like to be. Right, exactly. Yeah, we get we get a couple of girls in foul trouble where we get down to some girls that haven't been in too much yet. Coming out to start the second quarter, It'll be Cherryville's ball. John will get it inbounds here to Foreman. Foreman setting the offense at the top of the key. Foreman for a long two, no good. Rebound chased down by Paulser. Cherryville's going to stay in that man to man defense. Balls are finally gets to Pasquier at the free throw line. She'll dump it in to Cleaver, taken away there by Foreman. Yeah, nice job there by Foreman on the help defense there, slipping around and getting her hand on the ball. We have got to quit reaching. Get a second personal on Hodgkin. First team foul. Welch will check into the game for the Lady Devils, replacing Hodgkin with two fouls. John will fire three and drill it. Nice little shot there by the freshman. Yeah, she's she is a scorer. She's been that away in junior high for the past couple of years, and and uh, she will shoot the basketball. 
Daniels getting mugged over on the sideline, loses control of it. Foreman will bring it up, get it over there to Marchant. Her three-pointer's no good. Welch with the rebound. Yeah. Reach in there on Marchant. That'll be her first personal. Team one. Pauls are going to inbound for the Lady Devils. She'll get it to Daniels. Good pressure put on there by Marchant. Cleaver going to drive baseline, skip it over to Daniels. He'll fire a three, no good, but Cleaver with the rebound. Pascarelli for a rare three-pointer, no good. Cleaver working the boards, gets another rebound. Good job there by Cleaver keeping that possession alive. Yeah, most definitely. Kendi working in there hard. That foul goes on John. It'll be her first, second team. Daniels the inbound it for the Lady Devils. She'll get it to Pascarelli on over to Cleaver. Nice pressure there by the Lady Chargers. Foul on the Lady Chargers. Who'd they get this time? 24. 24. Whitley. Whitley. Whitley, her first Third. personal. Third team. Gas and Reister check back in for the Lady Chargers. 5.42 left here in the first half, 23-12. Welch will get it over to Daniels. Daniels trying to work on Gas there. We're about to get to moving a little bit better here. We're standing. Nice look into Pascarelli. It looked like she got found there, but she'll make the basket, cut the lead. <laughs> Down to nine, 23 14. Traveling call there on Reister. 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 You got it. You got it. It's one of the two. You got it. Welch gets it in to Daniel. She'll lose, lose control of it. She'll stay with Reister there. She'll kick it back out to Foreman. Reister for three, a little short, no good. Rebounded by Cleaver. She'll hand off to Pauls. They're under five minutes to play in the half. Push ahead to Welch. Welch drives in, picks it up, gets to Pascarelli. Middle of the lane, up and good. 4.45 left in the first half, 23-16. Lady Devils fighting back here. Wade pulls within seven. Yeah, nice job by Pascarelli asserting herself this evening. She's probably, she's probably the better post, post player here in the game tonight. Shot no good there by Foreman, but she is fouled. Uh, that one's on the floor too. Yep, foul on Cleaver, second personal. Nice look inside, Reister misses a shot, gets her own rebound, put back no good. Rebound somehow pulled out of there by Cherryville. Foreman for three, grills it. Puts the lead back to 10, 26-16, 4.15 left in the first half. Still there by John, she'll lay it up and good. Got a full timeout here by the Lady Devils. 4.09 left in the first half. We'll step aside and be back shortly.
Welch. Kicks it back to Paulser. A full court press here. A little pressure there caused Paulser to take an extra step there. Turnover on the Lady Devils. Nice job by the Lady Chargers there. A little full court press there. Come out of that from the man to man up to a little zone press. Gas drills a three for the Lady Chargers. She don't shoot shoot many shots, but when she does, they've been nothing but that. I'm telling you, one thing about one thing about the Lady Chargers when they get the ball in their hands, if they're outside, they're looking to the basket to score. Chargers knock it out of bounds there. Senior there, Cleaver needs to take that one to the hole, Wade. Yeah, I'd agree totally. Welch inbound here for the Lady Devils. She'll try to get it inside, but knocked away there. Chased down by Daniels. Pulls her on the right wing, setting up offense. She tries to get it inside to Pascarelli. She'll sidestep up and under and good. 320 left in the half, 30 to 18 Lady Chargers. Chargers gonna push it ahead. Umbarger inside, gets it back out to gas. Foreman kicks it over there to, that, I guess that one's gas. Rebound by Welch. I think you got a Rada and a gas. Oh, you got Reister, 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 and, Reister gas and gas. In. Reister and gas. So now I'm not sure, did gas make the last three or was it Reister? No, it was gas. Okay. I was looking at that. Yeah, other than, other than different colored shoes, the hair's the same color and the same yeah. length. And that threes and fives look the same. Or threes and fours. <laughs> I'm already got them wrong. There's a three, four, and a five. Nice look inside. That was John's. Her shot no good. Rebound by Pascarelli. Uh, Paulser loses control of it. This is Reister. She'll go up for the layup and good. Welch tries to force it into Pascarelli. Knocked out of bounds by Cherryville. Possession retained by the Lady Devils. Powell comes back for Welch. Powell's got to be careful here with the two personals. Reister takes it away from Paulser. She's going to go. Nice little drop down to John, I believe, in it. Is that John gets fouled? Yep. If so, that's going to be the third personal on Cleaver. Collins checks in for the first time this evening here for the Lady Devils. John gets a pair. Carly Fox will check back in for the Lady Chargers. 2.09 left in the first half, 34-18. Lady Chargers over the Lady Devils. Reister with the steal, shot no good. Rebound by Rada. She'll get it over to Umbarger. She'll step through, and they're going to call a foul on the Lady Devils. Foul call on number 20. 20. Call was on, that was on Collins, her first personal, four team, fourth team. Barker gets the first. A little, a little strong on the second one. Rebounded there by the Lady Chargers. 
Fox underneath there. She takes an extra step. Turnover there on the Lady Chargers. Holzer will inbounds here for the Lady Devils. Gets it into Collins. Full court press there by the Chargers. Taken away there by the Chargers. Umbarker on the drive in the paint. She gets knocked to the ground and fouled. Foul will be on number 20, Collins. That'll be her second. And that will put the Lady Chargers in the bonus line for the rest of the half here, shooting two. First one is good for Umbarker. She cannot get the second one to go. Job of Pauls are blocking out and getting that rebound, get over past Gurley, but she'll lose control of it and it goes out of bounds. Oh, McCollum's getting out and knocking it away. Gas misses, or that was Reister with the shot, but Umbarker gets a rebound and gets grilled. I believe that was on Powell, Wado. Okay. Sorry, doing a little money, money transaction here. A little halftime snacks. A little halftime snacks. As tight as this table is, I didn't figure I could curl out yeah. of here. Yeah, I'm not even going to try. Powell's third foul of the first half. Yep. She um, might have got a couple. One is no good. She might have got a couple minutes in the first half. Yeah, I know. It didn't take long, did it tonight? Dang it. No good. No good on the second one. Ball caroms back to Umbarker. She goes up and gets fouled again. Who did they get this time? I'm guessing Collins or Pascarelli. They're both right there. Foul goes on Pascarelli, her first personal. Unbarker back to the line for two more. She gets the first. Nice job, Unbarker there, get, getting both free throws. Puts the Chargers up 39-18, minute 13 left in the first half. Collins looks ahead to Pascarelli. Back to Collins. Looks like she gets fouled there by Gas, I believe. Be her second personal, fourth team foul. Say she got bailed out there. It was kind of a little bit out of control. But <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take it. Paulser gets it into Pascarelli, puts it up and good. Nice job. Pascarelli's had a nice half. Yes, yeah, she has. Did a nice job taking her time inside there and, and knocking, I think, all but one or two shots down. Rada, you talk about a line drive three. It was good. It was good. Not pretty, but effective. Pascal gets to Pulser, back to Daniels. She's gonna get fouled and get to go to the line to shoot two. That foul on Rada. Yep, foul's on number two, Macy Rada. First personal, team number five. KK to the line to shoot two. Now 
Angels haven't got on the scoreboard yet this evening, Ryan. Now she has one tail there. First one is good by KK. I remember right. I think she's only got off one three-pointer, hadn't she, in the first half mm, here. I believe that's right. Done a nice job staying close to her. Nice job, pass Gurley going back up, putting it up and in. 25 seconds left here in the half, 42-23. One thing about it, Wade, Lady Devil's still fighting. Three-pointer no good there by Gas, rebound by Polzer. Plenty of time left, 12 seconds here in the half. Pass Gurley's gonna kick it over to Collins, free throw line, jump shot, no good. Rebound by Reister. She's going to fire it ahead. No good. Nice look ahead there to Rada, but Rada shots no good. And we have come to halftime where your eerie Lady Red Devils are trailing the Lady Chargers tonight, 42-23. We'll step aside and bring you back second half action.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Getting ready for second half action here. Coming out of halftime, the Lady Devils will have first crack at it. And we will turn the ball over to start the second half. Lay it up and in by John for Cherryville. Not the start we drew up, I don't think. Oh, like we talked about from the get-go of the game, they're lazy passes and they're gonna get their hands on them and score. Foreman lays it up and in. Quick four points for the Lady Chargers. Push the lead out 46-23. Have official timeout here on the floor. Cleaver to throw it in here for the Lady Devils. Needing a little help there. Five second violation there on the Lady Devils. Did not find anyone open there to get it to. <clears throat> The Lady Chargers will throw it in. Humbarger feeds it inside there to Fox. She'll kick it back to Humbarger. Over to Foreman. She'll drive it in, lay it up and in. Six quick points here by the Chargers, Wade. Yeah, Foreman, she does a nice job in three-point land and a heck of a job there putting the ball on the floor and getting right to the rim. Daniels loses it out of bounds. Be another turnover on the Lady Devils. Welch going to check in for Daniels. Nice look there. Umbar tries to feed it down low, but goes out of bounds. Be a turnover on the Lady Chargers. <clears throat> Paulser tries to feed Powell. She'll lay it up. No good, but she'll get fouled. Get to go to the line shoot, too. That was on Foreman, be her second personal, first team foul. Powell gets the first. Al gets a pair. Foreman left open for three. It's good. Must be a warning on 24, not 44. Yep, 24. Touching the ball after it went through the net. Nice shot there by Foreman. Well, she was open. She just turned and knocked it down. Powell tries to feed it inside there to pass Grilly, but taken away by Umbarger. John set the offense here for the Lady Chargers. You know, the thing about Cherryville, Wade, they shoot a lot of threes, but they don't force much. That might have been the first force shot that they've taken there. Right. As Whitley had forced it up from the free throw line. Yep. I agree. Yeah, most, most of those threes and stuff are kind of in rhythm and 
usually third, fourth, fifth, sixth pass before yep. you know. Foreman fires a quick one there. Powell with the rebound. Pass ahead to Pascarelli. She'll hand it off to Powell or lose it to Powell. Just not much comes easy on the offensive end for the Lady Devils, though. Nope. No, and especially not the season with the pressure that uh, Lady Chargers are putting on. I get that on Powell for I'm the illegal guess, screen. I'm guessing that's Powell. Fourth personal on Powell. Daniels check back in for Powell. Gas tries to feed it down low, but it goes out of bounds. Nice look there by Gas. Just quite couldn't get the reach around there. Yep, just a little bit out of her reach. Alzer gets inside, handed off to Pascal. She'll go up strong, score. She'll get to go to the line for a three-point play. Pascal doing a good job of fighting through them fouls and laying them up and in tonight, Wade. Yep, yep, she has done, like I said, has done a nice job making sure and still going back to that little coaching from a few weeks ago, I think, in the yeah. old middle school game. Alex gets the three throw. Uh-oh, that's illegal touching, isn't it? Guess not. Reister lays it up and in. Nice give and go there from Reister. Dunnenberger back to Reister. Reister. That's all right. Out of bounds off of Pascarelli. Boy, sure looked like a little contact there by Umbucker, but they let it go. Obviously not quite enough. Nope. Marchant drives in. Nice job of Pascarelli going straight up, knocking it away there. Somehow they get it to Pulzer. Thinking the same exact thing. Welch for three, no good. Rebound by Umbarger. She's pushing it up. She'll go coast to coast and get hammered. Yes, Welch got her money's worth there. She was not going to get that shot off. Well, if you're going to make it, you might as well make it good. Umbarger will go to the line for two. First one's a little strong. John Barker gets one of two. Macy Rada will check into the contest. Pulser tries to go inside to Pascarelli. She'll go up, miss the shot. Fight for it, chase down by. Cleaver, but she'll travel with it. First time Pascarelli's got in a little bit of hurry down there. She took a little bit more time there. She's got that one. Gas, 18 footer, no good. Rebound chased down by Rada. (laughs) 
Shots up and good by Shelby Rada. Nice pass there by Reister. Yeah, nice move at the top of the key to get it there. 56-28, 2.53 left in the third quarter. Pascarelli will lay it up and good. Nice move there by Pascarelli. She's definitely been the spotlight for the Lady Devils here tonight. Shelby yeah. Rada at the other end, up and good. We're not doing a very good job of getting back, Wade. No, there's no reason to be getting up, giving up those easy ones like that. Pascal at three-point line now gets to Welch. Welch going to drive in, lay it up, no good. Cleaver with the putback, no good. Reister gets it to Ray to back out. She'll reset at the top of the key. Cross court pass, shots up and good by Marchant. Reister putting on a clinic here. Looks like Halliburton out there <laughs> dishing these assists. Yeah, she's done a really nice job controlling it for the Chargers. Daniels kicks out to Polzer. She thought about a shot. Not sure why she didn't go ahead and shoot that one. Daniels for three. No good. Rebounded by Rada. Rada pushing it up the floor. Tries to get over here to gas. 19-footer no good. Rebounded by Welch. Welch. You got it. Good hustle on the other end there by Shelby Ray to knock it away. Collins comes in for Balzer. Cleaver to inbounds it here for the Lady Devils. Reister knocks it away from Welch, would be out of bounds off of Reister. Somebody's got to throw it in there for the Lady Devils. Cleaver going to drive in, shot, no good, dang it. We've got to have those from the senior there. Good job of pushing ahead, Rada with the basket. Collins brings it up the floor for the Lady Devils, gets to Pascarelli. Pascarelli working on gas. Well, she gets fouled. <laughs> Be the third person on gas. Nice job with the official there with the ups, Bill. Get that ball out of the rim. Third team foul. Shooting two for the Red Devils, number 10, Alex Pascarelli. Mm. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa. Didn't I uh, I went. Yeah, that was the hmm. Oscar really goes over two. My angle must be bad. Looked like I it went off it, the side of the rim. I thought it grazed the side. Yep. Oh well, thirty two point game it probably ain't really gonna matter. Make up call here is Reister Reister's travels. I really thought that had been the other officials call to make anyhow on that side of the floor. But. All right. I don't know much. Nice look there. Pascarelli knocked out of bounds, though, by the Chargers. Possession retained there by the Lady Devils. Sixteen seconds left here in the third quarter. 
Welch gets it to Cleaver. Nice job, Cleaver drives in, gets it over to Pascarelli. She'll put the shot up, roll it in. Reached her for three. Would have been good if it went, but no good. At the end of the third quarter, it is Lady Bill, Cherryville Lady Chargers 62, Lady Red Devils 32. We'll step aside and bring fourth quarter action to you in a minute. Coming out for fourth quarter action, Lady Devils will have first crack at it here. And Wade, we were just discussing, this will be, uh, once they throw it in, be continuous running clock for this quarter. Knocked away there by Foreman. You are correct, it is running. Get it into Pascarelli. She'll kick it back to Daniels. Powell inside to Pascarelli. Lost control of it there, but Daniels will track it down. Paulser just does not look comfortable out there on that wing. She just she wanted to pull the trigger, but just could not Couldn't do make it. herself do it. And I don't know about you, but down by 30, I think this would be the time to let her fly. Yep. Well, and we got that's that's sometimes that's our best shot right there is right off the right off the quick first maybe second pass there when you are open because yeah they're putting that pressure on everybody else so we're not getting a good look after that. That's a fact. Cleaver to inbound it here for the Lady Devils, looking to get it into Powell. Going to be finally, I was going to say, it looked like about a five-second call. And they do call it. Their second or third one of those of this evening. Got to have that time clock going in your head at all times. Foreman for three, can't get that one, but nice rebound there by Fox. Gets it to Whitley, and Whitley knocks it in for two. Her first points of the evening. Paul's are on the right wing, he's gonna drive, try to kick it off to Powell, but it'll be turned over here to Foreman. She'll push it up, draw it. Back it back out. John, she'll drive in, kick it out. John banks a three in. Three point basket is good. Got a 30 second timeout for Cherryville. Five twenty-one left in the contest. Sixty-seven thirty-two. Chargers over the Devils.
Pauls are bringing it up here for the Lady Devils. A little aggressive play there by Reister. She'll pick up the personal foul. A third personal on Reister. First team foul. Cleaver to inbound it for the Lady Devils. Pascarelli is going to get fouled. That will be on Whitley, her second personal. Team two. More substitutions for Lady Chargers. Cleaver gets it to Powell. Back out to Paulser. Still there by John. She'll go coast to coast, lay it up and in. Pascarelli looking to drive, get it over to Powell. Powell looking to try to score her first points. Well, she scored any of that? Nope. Yeah, right. yeah, two. Two? Four. Four. Sorry. Reister's pass a little wide for gas. Cherryville sub in two more. Welch check back in for the Lady Devils. Daniels will have a seat. Three minutes left to play in the contest. Powell up and under, a little short. Rebounded by Dean for Cherryville. Rada tries to go inside to march it. Marchant misses a shot, gets her own rebound. Welch come out with the ball, trying to get down to Powell. Inside to Cleaver, up, count it. She'll go to the line and shoot one. Well, I believe on gas. Yep, fourth personal on gas. Strickland checks into the ball game here for the Lady Chargers. Cleaver gets the <laughs> bucket. It was just uh, wasn't it and one? I was gonna say yeah. they, they counted the basket, didn't she they? She made it, yeah. yeah. Hodgkin, Hodgkin, and Nort checks in for the Lady Devils, replacing Powell, Cleaver, and Pascarelli. Both Hodgins are in there. Yep. Times two. Rated drives in, up and under. Going to give the continuation and the foul. She'll go to the line to shoot one. That was on number 11, Maddie Hodgkin, her third personal. Oh. Oh. Rady gets the shot to go. And we got a traveling call there on Collins. 
That more than likely would probably be the, hopefully the last scoring play for Cherryville. 10 seconds left here up 72-35. Raiders looking at the top of the key. Raiders gonna drive in and not shoot it. And that will be the contest where the Lady Chargers 72, Lady Red Devils 35. As Wade is figuring talent in the stats for tonight's contest, we will have the varsity boys action here roughly about 15 minutes as they will sweep the floor, let the boys warm up, and then we will bring you live action from Cherryville for the varsity boys. Wado? All right, leading scorer tonight for your Lady Chargers will be number nine, Shelby Rada, or number five, Shelby Rada with nine. Number 11, John with seven, along with, let me refigure that here, Ryan, just a second. Take I, your time, I man. didn't do a very good job there. I made too many lines. Let's try this again. For the Lady Chargers, number one, Umbarker finishes with seven. Number three, Reister with eight. Number four, Gas with six. Number five, Shelby Rada with 12. Number 11, John with 17. Number 13, Marchant with two. And number 23, Foreman with 18. And number 24, Whitley with four. And for your Lady Red Devils, number five, Kaylee Daniels with three. Number 10, Alex Pascarelli with 24. Number 12, Kenzie Cleaver with five. Number 22, Paulser with one. And number 35, Powell with four. So not a lot of uh, not a lot of balance to save them for the Lady Devils there, Ryan. The gun Pascarelli kind of led the way. She had 24 of the total. Yeah, big night for Pascarelli. Not much for the rest of them. Yep, it was a tough night for kind of tough night for everybody else. We got Powell and Cleaver kind of got in foul trouble early there. Powell had, like you said, just had a couple of minutes there in the first in the first half, and that kind of obviously hurts us if we don't have our two bigs in there a little bit to have helping the rebound inside and help on the defensive end. That's a fact. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna step aside and we will bring you boys, varsity boys action here uh, in about 15 minutes as they're warming up. We're gonna take a break and we'll be back for live action.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting ready for varsity boys action here this evening. We're your Erie Red Devils. We'll take on the Cherryville Chargers. Starting lineups for this evening's matchup for your Red Devils. A senior, number one, Ethan Dillinger. A junior, number four, Michael Richenberg. A junior, number five, Reed Duff. A sophomore, number 10, Parker Hughes. And a sophomore, number 15, Grant Rizek. For the Cherryville Chargers this evening will be a sophomore, number five, Landon Fox. A sophomore, number 12, Louis Umbarger. A junior, number 14, Carson Ellis. A junior, number 22, Bryson Rada. And a freshman, number 23, Carter Roselle. Wade, it's a... Uh, Ought to be a good matchup here. Probably, a, I'm expecting an up and down pace as Cherryville usually likes to get out and run, but uh, looks like a new coaching staff here for Cherryville, so not really know what they uh, plan to do here this evening. Yeah, that's right. We'll be, uh, we'll have we'll have to uh, find out here on the tip and see what they're going to uh, see what they're going to run. A first year head coach here anyway. Right. Just by just by looking. Uh, Looks like you know we are going to have uh, obviously the size advantage uh, here this evening, right? So uh, hopefully we can put that to good use. Yeah, we should be able to hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. You never know, but hopefully. Pretty pretty young lineup sent out by the Chargers as uh, no seniors in the starting lineup. Do up. Little different uh, tip off here this evening coming out starting 2024 a little bit different as Reed Duff's <laughs> going to jump for the Erie Red Devils tonight. <laughs> and he's going to push ahead over to Rizek back to Dillinger. I bet they didn't expect that. <laughs> I'd say definitely not. Dillinger, top of Gee, thought about a three, but to get it over to Duff. He'll drive in, a little jump shot up and good. Good start here by the Red Devils. Looks like Landon Fox will set the offense here for the Chargers. He'll pull up, shoot a three. No good out of bounds off of the Chargers, so it'll be Red Devils ball. Duff pushes ahead to Dillinger. He'll get it over to Rizek, over to Hughes. Richenberg thought about a three. He's going to reset here. Oh, not a good pass. Broken up there by Rada. He'll lay it up and in and get fouled. Not a good foul there by Hughes. Nope. It's one of them. You just got to step back and let him go and throw it in going back the other way. Free throw, no good. Rebound by Dillinger. He'll push it up to Duff. Duff at the right wing looking to set here. Dillinger thought about a three, gets it over. A lot of ball rotation here for the Red Devils. Duff drives in, left-hand layups up and good. He'll score the first four points here for the Red Devils this evening. Ellis for the Chargers setting the offense. Throws it right to Richenberg. They'll push it ahead to Duff. 
Duff, left hand layups up and good. Erie jumps out early, 6-2 lead here with 6-20. Nope, okay, that must have been it. Did you hear a whistle? Rada gets it over to Fox. Fox for three, no good. Rebounded by Rada. Rada almost lost it, but it's picked up over in the corner. They'll try to feed Fox inside, working on Duff. His shot is no good. He'll throw it back in. They'll push ahead to Dillinger. Dillinger goes up, boom! Got a timeout here on the floor. Dillinger slams it down. Nice little move there by Dillinger, Wado. Yeah, a little flush there. 30 second timeout here by Cherryville. Devils jump up 11 to two. Not a not a bad uh, not a bad start here, starting off the 2024 season. Yep, doing a nice job here. And like and like you said early there, the Chargers they got a young lineup on the floor and and they're gonna they're gonna have some growing pains definitely this year. So and it, and it appears that uh, you know they're still you know obviously learning probably a new system with the coach coming in and being young, not having a lot of varsity experience. I'm guessing. Right. Um, I don't. I don't remember my, no, my, many of these either. kids from last year. Anyhow. Yeah, I agree. Well, Red Devils, they're going to have to stay after it on the defensive end. I've seen a little laziness down there the last possession or two. We're doing a little standing around instead of getting after them a little bit here. Yeah. It's a bad habit to get into. Nice job there by Richenberg knocking away. Dillinger steps in, passes, knocked away there by Ellis. Good hustle by the Chargers. Possession will stay here with the Red Devils. Duff to inbound it here. Gets their Dillinger, he'll go inside, lay it up, no good. Rebound, tough back out to Richenberg, gives it off to Duff. Duff drives in, spin, inside the lane, shot, no good. Rebound there by Fox. Couple easy ones there, way that we should have probably had on the yeah, offensive end. I'd like to get those. Rada for three on the other end, no good. Rebound chased down by Ellis. Good hustle by the Chargers. His high arcing shots, good. Yeah, I hit a little arch on that one. Had to get it over Dillinger. Duff drives in, finger roll, no good. Knocked around, but Duff's going to end up stealing it. He'll kick it over to Richenberg. He'll fire a three. Good. Boy, it'd be nice to get get him started fast and early this second half of the season. That's right. We're going to need him. We're going to need him in some of these games to knock down some shots. Got a nice looking stroke. 401 left here in the first period. 14 to 4. Red Devils over the Chargers. Shots up, no good there by Roussel. They'll push ahead to Duff in the corner. He'll kick it back out. Richenberg fires another three, no good. Duff in there fighting for the rebound. Oh, they're gonna get Duff for the foul. That was on Duff, first personal foul, second team. Like you, I thought that might have went to the. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. Well, I do know that's what they called. That is correct. Ellis going to bring the ball up for the Chargers. Fox fires away. Another three, no good. Duff with the rebound. He's going to push it up to Dillinger. He's going to go up, get fouled. Cannot make the lay-in. That little stutter step kind of cost him the basket. Yeah. Oh, they call that on the floor? Looks like it. Well, I'm a little confused because in the girls game, they have four, three steps and they count the basket. Hughes drives in, layups up and good. 3.15 left here in the first quarter, 16 to four. We've 
Got another breakaway. Dillinger coming in, going to try another one. Oh, yeah. One hand slam. Little showcasing going on here this evening, Wade. Yeah, nice job there. Getting the tip out and getting it down the floor. Traveling call here. Reds Rated took an extra step. We have a substitution here. A uh, sophomore number 11, Cole Taylor, enters for the Chargers. Red Devils up by 14 here, 18 to 4. 243 left in the first. Duff drives in, going to get fouled. Foul is on Ellis, first personal, second team foul on the Chargers. So Duff going to trigger it in, gets it into Rizek. Nice little look and up and under. Score it for Grant. Nice cut to the basket there by Rizek. It's another young man that we're going to have to have some big minutes up, you know, this second half of the season, Wade, Rizek, and, and Hughes both. Yep, they're going to get a lot of minutes, obviously. Looks like that pass went off a of trailer's hand. So a bit of turnover on the Chargers. Duff to set the offense, going to pull up three. Good. Duff off to a nice start here. Two minutes left in the first, 23 to four Red Devils. You see Reed knock down a three there. He's kind of been struggling there the first, first half of the break there. Wild shot there by Ellis, no good. They'll get the rebound, Rada, or yeah, Rada for three. Rada's gonna get his own rebound. I'm gonna have a loose ball foul on the floor here on the Red Devils, I believe. That'll be Hughes, a second personal, Ryan. Substitution, Landon Fox comes back in. Number 10, Nathan Poole, and number Roselle comes back in. And for the Red Devils, number 30, Mason, the dominator, Boaz, checks into the game. Mason going to get several minutes here early on. Three-point attempt by Fox, way short, but rebounded by Chargers. They are out hustling them. He'll pass it dead to Duff. He goes up and lays it in. <laughs> Another six inches. He could have slammed that one down, Wado. <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh. Dillinger coming out. He's going to just go inside, reverse layup. Nice job there, Dillinger, getting to the hole. Minute left here in the first, 27 to 4. Turnover here is Duff. He's going to go, go up for the layup. Count it. Oh, oh. call it on the floor. Foul's going to be on 24. Herb, 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 his first personal. <coughs> lob pass to Dillinger, oh, and they missed it. Couldn't quite control the lob there. Nice, nice play call. That's when you use two hands. Yep. Fox, uh-oh. Ella comes Dillinger. He's going to go up. Two hand slam a jamma. We got a showcase happening here in Cherryville, Kansas tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're tuning in for this show. <laughs> Devil's getting after it on the defensive end. Pass knocked out of bounds there off of Dillinger. Number 13, Tanner Strathy checks in for the Red Devils. His first action here this evening. Shot by the Chargers, no good. And at the end of the first quarter, your Erie Red Devils 29, Cherryville Lancers 4. Nice first quarter put together here by the Red Devils, Wade. 
Yeah, we're doing a nice job. Like I said, taking taking advantage of, of some turnovers and uh, you know not the greatest ball handling there by Cherryville. No, and you can tell the struggles, uh, Cherryville. I, I don't know what the record was before the break, but uh, you know, looking at their schedule, Riverton, Columbus. Uh, that might have been a tough start for them. I'd say it. I'd say it would have been for sure that for sure that Riverton game. I think Columbus <laughs> is down a little bit, but that Riverton team. They got a dunk fest goes on there too with Mr. Richardson. Oh, really? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Really, really, really good. He is. He's gonna be. He's gonna be a D1 somewhere. Reading a couple texts coming in. That uh, yeah, I would have to agree with uh, what I'm getting sent in. Looks like the Red Devils will come out with Dillinger, Strathy. Hughes, Rizik, and the Dominator, Boaz. You think the Dominator will dunk one tonight? If he gets a little help from down below. <laughs> somebody get, somebody uh, might need to give him a knee. Yeah. Ellis is going to drive right for the Chargers. Good job of Rizik staying in front. Gets it off to Fox. Fox working on Dillinger. Gives it up to Rada. Rated looking inside, going to be in a little bit of trouble. Finally gets it off to Fox. Rated drives inside, lays it up and in for the Chargers. Strathy wasn't expecting that one. Good thing Rizek was in the corner. Nice look, Strathy over to Rizek. I'm gonna have to have either Rizek or Hughes dye their hair. Yeah, yeah they kind of look both alike up top. There, yeah, they do. Red and curls. Dillinger for three, no good rebound by Rizek. Gonna give it back out to Dillinger. He'll drive in, lay it up, no good. Dominator cannot come down with it. Here comes Rada for the Chargers. He'll push ahead, pull up, kick it back outside. Umberger working at the top of the key. Nice look inside there by Rada. Oh, a little bit of a step on the baseline. Okay. <laughs> Did he do that before the three steps or after? <laughs> I think you give it to him before the steps. Either way, it'll be a turnover here on the Chargers. He probably does. Dominator for three. No good. Knocked out of bounds off of Ellis, so the ball will stay here with the Red Devils. Richenberg going to check into the contest for Boaz. They'll swing it around, Strathy gonna drive in, get it over to Rizek. Good rotation here by the Red Devils. Strathy for three, good. Nice shot there by Tanner. Yeah, nice pacing there by the Red Devils. Reverse the timer two and get a wide open look. Rated no three, no good. Rebounded by the Chargers. Shot no good, Strathy inside looking for the rebound, push ahead, try to get it to Richenberg. Chargers do a good job defensively getting back. And Strathy says, give me that ball back. Now push it ahead to Duff. Duff goes inside, throws it back out. We look like the Harlem Globetrotters out there for a little bit. Maybe the Globetrotter, we're missing the Harlem part. Yeah. Dillinger with the rebound. Richenberg for three, no good. Rebound by Dillinger, put back, no good. He's going to get fouled the third time. Foul number five, Landon Fox is 
Foul goes on Fox, his first personal, first team here on, in the quarter. Dillon's remiss the first. Makes the second. to inside the Fox. Fox will take an extra step there, get called for the travel, be turnover on Cherryville. Checking in for the Chargers. Chargers number 23, Roselle. 436 left in the first half, 33 to six. Red Devils over the Chargers. Good save there by Richenberg. Strathy for three, no good rebound. Gonna go the other direction. Gonna get a foul here on the floor by the Red Devils. I believe that's gonna go on Rizek. First personal on Rizek. First team foul. Ray to drives the corner. He'll pull up from three, a little short. Nice rebound in there by Umbarker. He goes up, he'll get fouled. Foul is on number 21, Yarnell. First personal, second team. Umbarker, a little short on the first one. Dillinger check back in for Rizek along with Nathan Poole for the Chargers as Landon Fox will take a seat. Dillinger had the rebound, lost it to Ellis. She can steal it back, he'll push ahead to Duff. Duff's gonna go up, lay it up and good, count it. He'll go to the line for an old fashioned three point play. 12, fouls on Umbarker, first personal, second team foul. Reed gets the end one. Raider's going to drive in, lose control of it. Duff's going to take it off. He's going to go coast to coast, lay it up. No good. Dillinger with the put back, no good. His second attempt, he's going to be fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. That was on number 14, Ellis. It'd be his second personal, third team. Dillinger gets the first. Number five, Landon Fox checks back in for Cherryville along with Connor Boaz for the Red Devils. Yarnell will go have a seat. 3.20 left here in the half. Dillinger gets a pair. 38 to six, Red Devils with 3.20 left in the half. Rizelle lost control of it there. We'll kick it back out to Fox. He'll fire a three. I think that's partially blocked. Rebounded by Ellis. Put back no good. Knocked out of bounds off of the Red Devils. Possession stay here with the Chargers. Oh 
Brazil chase it down, get it over there to Humbarger. Humbarger will pick it up, try to get it over to the wing on Fox. Dillinger working on Fox. Brazil drives in, shots up, no good. Dillinger with the rebound. He'll pass ahead to Duff. Duff's going to get called for the walk. They'll turn over on the Red Devils. Ray to check back in here for the Chargers. Second personal on Duff, third team. Parker Hughes going to check in here for the Red Devils as Duff will set down with those two personal fouls. Legal screen there on number 14, Ellis. Be here's third personal. Team third. Wade, I, I bet you there's a young man out uh, west of here. Wade. He's probably tuning in tonight, isn't there? Yeah, I imagine so, Mr. Roberts. Yeah, well, if you're out there, Mr. Roberts, Tate, I hope you're having a great New Year's. Hope you had a good Christmas. Thanks for tuning in. Strathy drives in, kicks out to the Dominator. He'll drive in, kick it back to Strathy for three. No good, rebounded there by Umbarger for Cherryville. Umbarger gonna push it down the floor and then throw it out of bounds. Looked like he might have got bumped there a little bit, but a no call. Just a small nudge. A little nudge. Hughes, huh? Go right ahead. No, go. I said the Red Devil was a little stagnant here on the offensive end until Richenberg. For three. That's his second three tonight, isn't it? Yes, sir. That's a tough pass to handle. Poole throws dirt to feed a fox. It goes out of bound off a of fox, but turnover on the Chargers. Yeah, right. A little tough to catch that one when it's two foot away from you and hits yeah. you in the shoe. Isaac will check back in for the Red Devils. Strathy will go to the bench. She so got Hughes, Boaz, Isaac, Dillinger, and Richenberg for the Red Devils. Nice move there by Boaz. He'll kick it off to Dillinger. Red Devils, Hughes drives in. Little shot, no good. Rebound by Isaac. He goes up, count it, and it'll be one. Nice offensive board there by Mr. Isaac. First personal on Roselle. That will be the fifth personal here in the quarter. Looks like Isaac, he made it, but he stepped across the line before it went in, so wave it off. Minute left in the half. Red Devils up 43 to six. Fox working on Boaz. He'll pull up middle of the paint. No good. Rebound goes out of bounds. So Dillinger will throw it in here for the Red Devils. Hughes will bring it up. Set the offense for the Red Devils over to Boaz. Nice give and go back to Hughes. He's going to walk with it. Rada picks it up in the corner. Cherryville killing a little clock here. Shots blocked by Richenberg, but rebounded by Rada. Rizal is going to drive in left-hand layup, no good, but he is fouled. 
He'll go to the line and shoot two. Fouls on Richenberg, first personal, fourth team on the Red Devils. Roselle gets the first one on the bank. Misses the second. Duff checks back in here for the Red Devils. Rizik went to the bench here. So 10, about now we got 10 seconds left in the half. Duff just walking it up. Three point attempt is money. <laughs> and at halftime, Erie Red Devils 46. Cherryville Chargers 7. We're going to step aside and we'll be back for second half action.
Welcome back for second half action here between the varsity boys, between the Erie Red Devils and the Cherryville Chargers. Coming out of halftime, I believe it will be the Red Devils ball for, for first possession. Duff will trigger it in. Hughes gets it over to Dillinger. He'll fire three. Good. Red Devils stay hot from the perimeter. Three-point attempt, no good by Fox. Saved by Ray to throw it ahead to Dillinger. Get ready, kids. Slam a jam on the other end. Dillinger buries it. 51 to 7. Red Devils. Ready to gives it off to Fox. He'll fire three. No good. Rebound by Richenberg. Duff to push it up for the Red Devils. Nice look inside to Rizek. He'll lay it up and in. Got a quick timeout here by the Chargers. They're going to call a full timeout. 7.04 left in the third period. Red Devils 53, Chargers 7. I don't think I don't think Coach was real happy there with coming out and just shooting uh, two feet behind the three-point line back-to-back possessions there. No, they'd, uh, you know, wait not very many times. You don't see many teams go to the locker room at halftime and, you know, Coach knows he's got a young team. They stayed out here and went over stuff uh, at halftime, uh, working on some things, and not very, not very thrilled with the hustle there. Talking about Cherryville's coach, you know, not right. very thrilled with the hustle with that. So, good job of Devils coming out and not taking the foot off the gas. Go ahead and keep the pedal down. Hopefully, get to see some bench players play here, probably in the fourth quarter. Yep. I was wondering, <laughs> looked like Red Devils coming out full court press there we for a minute. Were, I think we thought we were on the defensive end. <laughs> Umbarger picks it up, gets it over to Fox. Nice split there, the defense, he'll lay it up. They're gonna call a foul on the floor there. Foul call number one, Ethan Dillinger, his first personal. First team foul. Foul's on Dillinger, first personal. Fox drills a little shot. Richenberg thought about a three. We'll skip it over to Duff. Duff gets it down to Hughes. Back to Duff. He'll fire three. No good. Rebound by Dillinger. Gets it out to Rizek. Little shot. No good. Put back by Duff is good. 55 to nine. Rada for the Chargers. Stupid foul there by Dillinger. Second person on Dillinger. Both of them was because he's lazy, Wade. Yep, 100%. Inside to Rada. A little tight coverage there by Hughes. He's going to pick up his third. Third? Third person on Parker. We're going to mess around here, Ryan, and get in foul trouble. Ellis drives in, shot partially blocked by Richenberg. Push ahead to Dillinger. He'll lay it in and good. He's also fouled, get to go to the line to shoot a free throw. Foul on 22 that time. Yes. Foul be on Rada. First personal, first team. Dylan 
Ettinger gets the three throw. Ethan Yarnell check into the lineup for Dillinger. 6.06 left in the third quarter, 58 to nine. Ray is going to drive in, lay it up and in for the Chargers. Duff kicks it to Richenberg at the corner three. Good. Nice shot there by Richenberg. It's three in the ball game for him from behind the arc. Three-point attempt by Ellis, no good. Rebounded by Hughes. Duff to push it up the floor. Spin move, shot short. Ball knocked out of bounds off of Cherryville. Possession retained here with the Red Devils. Hughes to trigger it in from the baseline, gets it off to Duff. Going to try to feed Yarnell inside, and Yarnell's fouled. That's a nice move there by Yarnell. Yeah, definitely. A nice job posting up there before the contact. <coughs> that was on Poole, first personal. Number 11, Cole Trailer will check in for the Chargers. Hughes inside to Duff. Duff will lay it up and in. Nice look there from Hughes. Ellis for the Chargers, drives in, lays it up, no good. Rebound by Fox. His putback's no good. Rebounded by Ellis. His putback's no good, but he's found. He'll get to go to the line to shoot two. That was on 21, Yarnell. Second personal foul. Got some substitution, number 23, Roselle, and 24, Herb for Cherryville, along with Erie, got number 35, his first action, Junior Drew Robinson. And Strathy. And Strathy, Strathy checks back in. Ellis gets one out of two. Hughes looks like he'll run the point for the Red Devils. Strathy drives in, kicks it down to Robertson. They'll pass it around. Hughes going to drive in, up and under, no good. Yarn now is going to get called for the foul as he was going for the rebound. Be third there on Yarnell. Fifth team foul? Yeah, should be in the bonus. Be a jump ball. Jump ball ball this time in favor of Churches. Enter in for the Churches, number 22, Bryson Reyes. Maybe they should have been shooting. Yeah, they should have. Should have had two shot, two shot on the foul. <clears throat> yeah. Rada goes up and under. That was on Strathy. First personal. Chargers are in the bonus here early in the third quarter. Rada a little strong on the first. Not get either one. Hughes chase the rebound down. He'll bring it across. Get the offense set up. Robertson, or no, that was uh, Richenberg. Richenberg, wasn't it? His fourth three of the ball game. 
It's good to see that young man yep. come out hot here to start the second half of the season. The Red Devils are going to need him to continue to knock down shots. Rada, reverse layup, no good. Rebounded by Yarnell. Hughes will bring it up for the Red Devils. Get it over to Richenberg, who could not hit his fifth. Heat check there by yeah. Richenberg. Fox, no good for the Chargers. Rebounded, though, by Ellis. <sighs> Poor Yarnell. That's the fourth, fourth personal on Ethan. <laughs> That one there was kind of a nickel dimer, but it just he just kind of bumped him. Dominator will come in and take over for Yarnell here with 3.34 left in the third. <laughs> nice looking. Herb gets the first. Nice looking shot by Herb. That was a tad bit short. Rebounded by Hughes. He'll push ahead to Strathy. Strathy will lay it up and in. I'll be honest with you, Wade. I didn't think there was any chance that thing would ever go in. And I didn't, think, I didn't think it was going to get above the rim. Travel there on Rozell. Woo, Strathy to Robertson. He'll kick it back to Hughes. Red Devils working a little clock here in the third. Strathy gets it out to Robertson. Dominator drives in, shot up, in and out, no good. Rebounded there by Trailer for Cherryville. Richenberg steps in there, steal. Richenberg for three, good. Five threes Five for Five of them, babies. Strathy with a stupid reach in foul. Be a second personal on Strathy. Be two shot foul. Back up, back up there, Nick. Nick says I want in the game. Number 23, a freshman, Nick Havlin, will check in for Richenberg. As he is the last starter. Nope. I guess you started tonight, too, didn't he? Yes. Rebound by Hughes. 212 left here in the third. 71 14. Hughes with the pull up jumper and gets her to fall. Fooled you. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was coming out, bouncing out. <laughs> I thought it was long, but killed her on the back of the rim there. Havlin, he's going to get his name in the book. First personal on Nick. Roselle gets the first to go. Well, Ryan, we was moving around long in this game until the bonus at the four minute, four twenty minute mark. Yeah, I think we'll get started rolling pretty good here in about a minute forty seven though. Havlin, he'll step back shot, no good rebound. You know that almost went in for Strathy. <laughs> almost tipped that baby right in by accident. Ellis. Kind of a wild shot, rebound by Robertson. He'll get it to Strathy. 
Strathy looking to push the ball, gets it uh, over to Havlin. Boaz is going to drive, kick it to Robertson. Robertson going to kick back out to Hughes. He'll look to go inside the paint to Boaz, back out to Robertson. He thought about a three. Hughes will fire a three. No good. Rebound by Boaz. Boaz tries to feed Robertson inside. Going to have a jump ball. I have no idea where it's going. We're going to stay here. Havlin for three in the corner, in and out. Herb, no good, rebound by Ellis. Fouled by Strathy, third personal. Not sure how many teams it stopped at five, but I'm pretty sure that's 12 or 14 in this quarter, I would guess. A lot. Too many. Ellis to the line to shoot two. He rattles the first one in. I know they're postponing my Sonic trip <laughs> with all these fouls. Ellis short on the second one. Kicked out of bounds by Herb. It's one thing to look at. We've done a very good job in this game putting up points, but we've done a very poor job of rebounding. I think we're probably getting out rebounded tonight. Yeah, I'm guessing maybe double digit out rebounded. Hughes will throw it away there. As Roselle will try to get it over to Rada. Strathy, good hustle, knocks it away. Roselle, good job of Boaz stripping it at. Strathy, he's going to try to go coast to coast, lay it up and in. Rada for three, no good, and that's the end of the third quarter where it's your Erie Red Devils 75, the Cherryville Chargers 16. We're going to step aside, and we'll be back to fourth quarter action. Shot up and good there by Ellis, and he'll go to the line for the old-fashioned three-point play. Foul was on number 30, Boaz. First personal, first team. Well, Boaz got in the book this evening. Certainly. 
Ellis completes the three-point play. Robertson, they're going to get him for a traveling call. Thought he was going to try to get in the book there with the score. Good try there by Drew. Umbarger tries to go inside to Ellis. He'll miss it. Strathy with the rebound. Strathy's going to try to push it ahead to Havlin. Knocked out of bounds off of Cherryville. I don't know who that was. Ellis knocked that out of bounds. So Hughes the inbound for the Red Devils. He'll get it to Boaz. He'll fire three just a tad bit to the right. No good. Strathy for three. No good. Rebound by Fox. Strathy knocks it away. He'll lay it up. Gets fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. That'll be on Fox. Second personal. Third personal. I must have missed one on Mr. Fox. Strathy to the line to shoot two. Tanner gets the first. Well, we get Havlin for a lane violation there, Wade. I would agree. Ellis gets it to Rada. His three's no good. Rebounded by Poole. He'll get it to Umbarger. Good job of Boaz stepping in front of that, knocking it away. Strathy for the Red Devils setting the offense here with 4.57 left in the contest. Havlin fires a three, no good. Rebound comes out to Strathy. He'll go inside to Hughes out to Round Robertson for three, no good. Hughes with the rebound. Havlin in a little bit of trouble there, throws it right to Umbarger. He's going to go coast to coast, miss the layup. But Havlin with the rebound steps on the end line. So it'll be a turnover. We got a full timeout here at 422 left in the game. Cherryville will call a full timeout. Red Devil 76, Chargers 19. We'll be back to you in 60 seconds. Yarnell is going to check in for Strathy. Cherryville's ball, 422 left in the contest. Herb gets it into Fox over to Ellis. Ellis to set the offense for the Chargers. He's going to fire three, no good. Rebound by Yarnell. 
So Hughes will bring it up, get it to Havlin. Havlin thought about a three, but he'll drive, kick over to Robertson. Yarnell will fire a three, just a tad bit off the mark. Havlin's shot, no good. Rebound by Ellis for the Chargers. He'll push ahead, layup, no good by the Chargers, but rebounded by Ellis. Ellis gonna shoot another three. No good. Rebound chased down by Hughes. Somehow gets to Yarnell. Pass it over to Hughes. Goes out of bounds. <laughs> this group needs to settle down just a little bit. We're getting a little anxious there. We're putting a new, new brand, the Run and Gun Devils. Turn over there is Fox going to drive it. Foul's going to be called here on the Red Devils. Down on 35, Robertson his first. Drew gets in the book this evening. Oops. And we'll show it on the first one. Great is going to check in for Ellis. Yarnell with the rebound. Hughes pull up, no good. Rebounded by Trailer. Rada drives in, lays it up and in. 148 left in the contest, 76-21. Yarnell is going to fire three, no good. Rebound off of Roselle. I guess I'm wrong. White ball. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it one more time. Rada for three, no good. Rebound by Yarnell. Havlin's going to get charged with a travel call. Herb to inbound it. He'll get it back. Fire three, no good. Rebound by Hughes. Going to have a jump ball. Red Devils trying to burn out the last 20 seconds of this contest. Boaz going to drive around. Good job, Boaz. Just breaking a five-second count. Under 10 to play. Turnover by Hughes. Three-pointer, no good. And that is the ball game, folks. Your Erie Red Devils 76, Cherryville Chargers 21. As soon as Wade gets some stats uh, figured up, we'll give you the stats for the varsity boys game here. I think he's got m most of them figured up, so. Wait, oh, what do you got? All right, uh, for the Cherry Bowl Chargers this evening, leading the way for them, number 14, Ellis, with eight. And number 22, Rada, also finishes with eight. Number five, Fox, with two. Number 23, Roselle, with two. 
at number 24, Herb, with one. And for your Red Devils, uh, leading the way this evening, number one, Dillinger with 22. Number five, Duff with 21. Number four, Richenberg with 15, all from three-point land. Number 13, Strathy with eight. Number 15, Rysik with six. And number 10, Hughes with four for the season for your Red Devils. So it looks like six, six uh, players scoring here for the Red Devils. Yeah, nice little scoring run for the Red Devils tonight as uh, they come out. The offense was clicking on all cylinders. Uh, you know, obviously ran into a team that's in the rebuilding stages here in Cherryville. So, but uh, good uh, good win coming out of the break for the boys. Yeah. Um, we we off Friday. We, we are off Friday. No game this Friday. No game this Friday, and I think we're off the following Friday as well. Wow. Well. Folks, we're going to wrap this up this evening, and I guess it'll be next Tuesday. At it? Caney. I'll probably be sick for that one <laughs> <laughs> as we have to travel to Caney next Tuesday night. But until then, we'll see you later. Thank you, and have a good evening.